Hey, hey Brian, it's uh, Cameron from the Courage Journal. A, a lot of the guys over the course of the summer, summer and fall camp have said on the defensive side, they've been very motivated this off season, um, whether that's coming off the Music City Bowl performance, which is a good performance, or just kind of improving on last year. In what ways have you seen their motivation um, heightened uh, this offseason? Well, I think in, uh, uh, in the confidence, uh, number one, uh, those guys are, are now understanding really the, the insides and outs of the defense and the fits and coverage wise and understand, you know, where the help is and, uh, and pulling that trigger and, and, and taking some chances, you know, uh, which is good, you know, and, and that's what we want, we want aggressive style defense. Uh, but, but confidence is the number one factor. Uh, and, and then I think, too, you know, these last, uh, you know, two and a half, almost three weeks now. Uh, just not giving up the big play. That's that's been our most uh, uh, our number one thing that we're trying to strive for this year uh, is not to give up the big play. You know, when we were at App State, uh, we were one of the tops in the country, top five in the country, and, and giving up the least amount of big plays. Uh, and that's in the same defense. So that's that's what we're striving to do here. Uh, it's not, not give up big plays, and uh, and that was one area where we struggled last year. And, and I think right now, you know, these last three weeks, uh, we've done a really good job of not giving up the big play, uh, understanding our assignments. Uh, and playing fast, uh, but confidence and, and having fun is uh, is one of the uh, things that I see, uh, as well as, you know, this this is a second year in the defense. So, uh, uh, of course, you they, they get a little bit better each and every year. Brian Hayes, Jody Dimling with CardinalAuthority.com. When you look at – when you look at – the guys that you're going to put out there and last year you played a lot of guys up front and you rotated a lot of guys in the secondary will that will that kind of be similar I mean I know that's what you want to do up front will, will you kind of try to keep guys fresh and, and do you feel good about where you're at I know you're not where you want to be depth wise but where you're at mm-hmm. going into the season yeah yeah we're, we're, we're comfortable where we are I mean we, we have what we have and uh and I think uh, as far as the rotation goes up front, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to play, you know, that, that first and second group, you know, as much as we possibly can. Uh, but it's like you said, you know, those guys up front have to stay fresh and they can't play, you know, 80 to 90 snaps a game, you know. Uh, so, so we got to rotate those guys up front a little bit. Uh, in the secondary, you know, we, we want to make sure that we keep those guys fresh as well. Uh, but it wouldn't be uh, a lot of rotation, uh, you know, back there at the safety spot. Now, at the corner spot, I have four corners that I feel comfortable, you know, putting in a game. And uh, and all four of those guys are, uh, are veteran guys and, and play some football. Uh, and I got a fifth that, you know, if, if something happens, one of the other ones that, you know, I feel comfortable putting him out there on the field. And that's a true freshman. So. Uh, right now, you know, we, we, we're comfortable where we are, uh, but but we'll continue to build that depth, uh, Jody, you know, uh, as the season progresses, you know, with our young guys up front as well as at the linebacker spot. Uh, you know, that's one area right there to where uh, you won't see a whole lot of rotation uh, with the linebacker core. And uh, uh, we got to make sure we keep those ones healthy and uh, continue to get those uh, backups a lot more reps. So we're uh, not making little mistakes uh, like, like the ones we make. Brian, a follow-up to that, you know, with all the new – with with the way the eligibility is going to be this year and that with freshmen, have you all talked as a defensive staff on how you want to use some of the of the young guys and, and, and would you play them maybe more so this year than, than you would in previous years? Well, I, I really think, Jody, it all depends on the game situation, you know. And, uh, you know, one, one thing we've talked about is just, you know, hey, we can use them. You know, in one way, I think we'll use them more so of uh, will be special teams, you know, uh, to be able to get those guys out there on the field and get their feet wet. Uh, you know, and then if some games to where we can throw those guys in, uh, then we will. You know, it, it all depends on the situation. And uh, we, we do want to get those guys some reps and uh, get them to grow because uh, the only way you can grow is to, you know, put them out there in the fire at times. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. Uh, but I think you'll see mainly some of those guys end up playing on some special teams. I'm Michael McCammon from Cardinal Authority. Uh, when looking at Western Kentucky, they return a lot on offense. Uh, but one spot that is new is, is behind the center at quarterback. They, mm-hmm. they got a guy they call Piggy T back there, um, the transfer from Maryland. Have you guys been able to look at him much on film? And what do you expect from him uh, when he leads WKU? Uh, well, yeah, we, we've had a chance to look at him, uh, you know, while he, his time in Maryland. Uh, he's an explosive quarterback uh, that has a, a really, really, really strong arm and uh, does a great job of keeping his eyes down the field, even when he does get outside the pocket. Uh, but he's also a runner. You know, he's like a running back. So they're going to use him in the run game as well. Uh, so we'll see some cue runs this week. 
and uh, we know that they already have that in their package. Uh, so now they have a guy that really can uh, put stress on the defense uh, with his arm as well, uh, as well with his legs. And uh, uh, so we expect, you know, uh, uh, you know, some of the same offense, and they may, you know, throw in, uh, you know, a little bit more RPO game uh, as well with him, uh, something that he was used to uh, uh, at Maryland. So. Uh, but we we expect a, a mobile quarterback that can uh, that can run and throw for sure. Hey Brian Cameron again. As you had mentioned, um, just the guys understanding the defense a little bit more the second year. I feel like a lot of times last year you mentioned um, missed assignments or MAs a lot. Um, I know the the guys have said they they don't have to think as much. They can play faster right now. In what ways in practice are you able to see them improve? in the playbook, like what, how, how, how can you tell that they're kind of understanding your defense more and more? Well, it's, it's just period by period, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, and as a defensive coach, you know, you, you got to try to defend, you know, everything. Sometimes you're, you're trying to have defend motions and, and a lot of different things, you know? Uh, uh, so, so these guys understand what our base defense is and what, uh, you know, it is to the Oki side, the reduction side and things of that nature. And they know the adjustments now and they're able to play a little bit more faster. You know, I mean, going against the offense, I mean, it, it's a lot of motions, you know, it's a lot of different adjustments. And so if you're a young guy, you know, coming in and playing against Coach Satterfield's offense, your head get to spinning, you know, uh, look like you're doing the, uh, you know, the old bat and you got your head around and you're spinning around a little bit sometimes. So, uh, but uh, but anyway, it's uh, that's what I think. I think the guys just understand what we want, what our base is, uh, and where the fits uh, are supposed to be. So uh, they're they're excited about playing this coming up Saturday, and we're excited about getting out there and showing the world what uh, what we got this year. And Brad, I'll follow up to that. I know you guys didn't get them a lot for the full for the full spring and not the full summer, but. Nick was mentioning Nick Kiki was mentioning you guys a lot a lot of time on Zoom and Teams calls for watching film. Um, how important was that time this offseason and helping them understand the playbook and fix maybe errors that they may have done last year or in early early part of the spring? That was awesome. You know, I, I think one thing that, that that really helped us, to be honest, uh, Cameron, was uh, you know the bowl prep. You know, being able to have those extra bowl practices. Uh, I mean, that that helped out a whole lot. You know, and. And the guys, you know, took from that bowl practice actually to the game uh, and then from the game to spring ball. And those seven practices, you know, uh, it was a totally different, you know, football team as far as on the defense side of the ball. Uh, it's where guys are just flying around and, and understanding where their fits. Uh, then when you have, you know, COVID to hit, now you, you're down eight practices. Uh, but we were able to get on Zoom calls and things of that nature and had a good bit of walkthroughs this summer. Uh, you know, and that's one thing we're continuing to do is doing some more walkthroughs and, uh, you know, trying to help those guys just understand and slow the game down for them a little bit. And um, but the guys are buying in. Um, they're asking questions. That's what you want. Uh, you know, last year, they're, they're still, they were just trying to find out. They're trying to learn on, on the fly. Uh, but now they're asking questions and say, hey, coach, can we fit it this way as opposed to this one? And now, 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 you know, you're trying to get somewhere as a defense when they're asking questions and, and making suggestions. Uh, and we're going to listen to them because they're out there making the plays, not us. So um, that that's where I see us making a, a big improvement as well is the walkthroughs and adjustments, uh, but also just from the kids, uh, you know, wanting to make adjustments on their own as well. Brian, hey, it's Jody again. Over the course of the last couple of weeks, a couple of the guys have mentioned when we ask like what newcomers stick out to them a couple of them have mentioned yaya what how has he progressed throughout i know he didn't get here till you know the summer he wasn't here in, in those spring practices i don't believe but how has he progressed throughout camp man he, he's still learning he's still learning jody uh but I, i'll tell you what he's a he's a different specimen you know when he's out there on that football field and uh uh you know so so it's going to be some teams that's going to have to you know uh, uh maybe end up double teaming and things of that nature but he's a He's a pass rushing machine, you know, and, and, and can rush the passer, but he's also really good in the run game. And uh, uh, so that's that's one one thing we have to just continue to get with him is his knowledge of the defense. And uh, and that will get better as the season to, uh, continues to progress. Uh, you know, so he hadn't been here that long. Uh, so but we're going to try to keep it as simple as possible when Yaz in the game and uh, we'll be ready to roll. I think he'll be ready as well. He's excited. I'll tell you that. Coach, this is Matthew McGavick with Sports Illustrated. Uh, WKU has a pretty good running back in Walker. He was a 1,200 yard of rusher a season ago. Whenever you fire up the film, what's something that stands out when watching him, and what's something that you guys have to do in order to stop him? Man, I, I tell you what, it's it's uh, it, it's really awesome. 
uh, to see a kid transfer uh, transform from a defensive back, you know, to a running back. He doesn't look like a defensive back, you know, and, and that kid is is uh, groomed himself into a really good running back. And uh, uh, to be able to see that, that's just really impressive to me uh, within itself and learning the offense. Uh, but he does a really good job of of getting downhill when he needs to get downhill. Uh, but he's shifty as well. He can stick a foot in the ground and get north and south really, really quickly. And, uh, uh, you know, he's good in protections. Uh, but he's just, you know, he's an overall, he's a really good athlete. And uh, and I think that's what has helped him uh, become one of the best backs in, uh, in Conference USA. Hey, Brian Cameron again. That You mentioned the Music City Bowl. And if I remember right, I think that's probably one of you guys' best defensive performance. I think a, guy, a lot of guys are just flying to the ball, especially that second half. You feel like this defense um, is similar, is right now similar to that in the sense of like they're, they're flying, kind of moving around without thinking so much, you think, right now? I, I think so. I, I think so, Cameron. I think they're, uh, uh, you know, uh, understanding, like we said, uh, of the defense, and, and that allows those guys to play a whole lot faster. So when you know what to do and you're going in the right direction, that means you can play a whole lot faster as opposed to you thinking, you know, oh, what's the check? Oh, what, what is this? You know, and now you're a step behind, and that's when, you know, you miss a play here or there or they bust a play here and there. Uh, so right now I think the guys are flying around close to that, um, you know, being able to – uh, you know, start, you know, practicing with these guys in July uh, has helped for sure. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to put that product on the field on Saturday. We'll take one after, more for Coach Brown. After, after a game like that, Brian, do you feel like the team went into the offseason pretty motivated to build off that performance? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You think about, you know, that performance and, uh, against Mississippi State. Uh, you think about the performance against uh, Virginia, uh, NC State, you know, uh, those games right there, that's we, we played some really, really good defense at that time. And uh, that, that's what we're looking for. And uh, and then, of course, the games that we didn't play so well, uh, they, they want redemption for those games as well. They, they know that they're better defense than what we showed uh, at times last year. Uh, and the guys are excited and pumped and uh, ready to go and, and just hoping that we put the best product out there on that field on Saturday and the rest of the season. All right. All right. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one.